Good day! Welcome to King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz University Hospital. On this e-learning manual, you are going to learn about the peripheral intravenous cannulation practices here in our hospital. This is in collaboration with the Infection Control Department, Evidence-Based Practice, and Nursing Education Unit. This video is a step-by-step -step guide of peripheral intravenous cannulation here in our hospital. Peripheral Intravenous Cannulation Procedure Ensure that there are two nurses doing the peripheral intravenous cannulation procedure. Verify doctor's prescription for peripheral intravenous therapy. Hand hygiene prevents the spread of microorganisms, so perform hand hygiene before patient contact. Disinfect the clean trolley using the hospital-approved disinfectant, from the field itself to the trolley's sides. Verify the correct patient using two identifiers. Collect and gather the necessary supplies equipment. Check the solution and device, integrity and the expiration. Explain the procedure to the patient. Assess for clinical factors experience with IVT, placement preference, and catheter gauge to be used. Provide privacy to the patient. Ensure the seven rights of medication safety. Medication, dose, time, route, patient, refusal, and documentation. Prepare the prescribed intravenous solution and prime the tubing. Cover the end of the tubing. Raise bed to comfortable working height and position for the patient. Adjust lighting. Position patient's arm below heart level. Apply tourniquet 2.5 inches above the selected site and choose the appropriate vein. Then release the tourniquet. Clean area of insertion site using saline or soap and water if surrounding site is soiled with blood and dirt. Perform hand hygiene, don eye protection and mask as appropriate. Maintain no touch technique. Open all sterile packaging using sterile technique. Put in the clean trolley. Prepare site by scrubbing with 2% chlorhexidine in 70% isopropyl alcohol swabs in circular motion for a minimum of 30 seconds and allow drying completely for 30 seconds. Reapply tourniquet 2.5 inches above the selected site. Ask the patient to open and close feet several times or position patient's arm to a dependent position to distend the vein. Do hand hygiene. Done sterile gloves. Place a sterile sheet under the patient's arms or hand an eye sheet over the insertion site. Insert IV catheter at 45 degrees to penetrate the skin. Lower the cannula at 10 degrees upon entering the vein. Observe for backflow of blood. Thread cannula into the vein while removing the stylet. Place the stylet into the sharps container. The nurse assisting the cannulation releases the tourniquet. Apply pressure on the tip part of the site to prevent flowing of blood. Remove eye sheet. Connect the end of the extension tubing, connected to a pre-filled syringe of normal saline. Flush slowly to check for patency. Connect the end of extension tubing to prepared intermittent IV device. Apply IV placement stabilization either with sterile tapes or transparent semi-permeable membrane dressing. Label the inserted cannula with tape, date, and time of insertion and initials of the nurse who inserted it. Calculate infusion rate and regulate the flow rate. Observe patient and report any untoward effect. Position patient comfortably on bed. 
tell patient how to move or turn without dislodging the venous access device. Discard supplies, remove gloves, and perform hand hygiene. Document a procedure in patient's record. The date and time. Type and solution. Additives and dosages flow rate. Gauge, length, and type of vascular access devices. Catheter insertion site. That is the end of our e-learning video. If you have any questions and suggestions, don't hesitate to give your feedbacks on the link below. Thank you for listening and welcome to King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz University Hospital.